I am going to now just share with you really quickly the seven pillars. And this is what you're going to learn in our program in October. Number one, mindset. I used to say it's a big deal. No, guys, it's the biggest deal. Your mindset, whether it's a limited mindset that you're operating from or a thriving mindset that you're operating from, that gives you your quality of life. It gives you your dreams or it stops your dreams. It is the biggest deal. And the biggest deal is you've got to actually distinguish. You've got to actually know what, what conversation you're having with yourself that stops you from the things you want in your life. So we show you how to do that in, this, in our, my 10-week program. We show you how to distinguish what you're saying to yourself to stop yourself from having what you want in your life, okay? You guys are really playing some big games. If you really want to keep forwarding those things in your life, those commitments in your life, you've got to know what is stopping you from taking the actions you need to take. And guys, the other thing is, is you will be an action taker in your life. I promise you in 10 weeks in this program, you will walk away being an action taker because it's the only thing that moves something is taking action. It's the only thing that will move something is taking action. So you will become an action taker in your life, okay? So the second pillar is focus. What you focus on is what you get. If you're here and they're here and you're here, you have no focus. And what you focus on is what you will get in your life. And so it will be chaotic if you're focusing in so many different directions. But if you have a clear direction and a clear focus, you'll get what you want. Third one, declaration. Guys, it's one of the most powerful things you can do in your life is declare. Because here's the deal. If Jackie does not tell me what she is up to in her life, I may have the perfect resource sitting right here and I can't help her. Unless she actually starts declaring what it is she's up to and doing. That's why I have you guys share in here. What are you up to? So we can all go, oh, how can I? How can I? How can I support that? How? What, what resource do I have for that? Wh who do I need to introduce her to or him to? Declaration is one of the most powerful things. And it's what brought me to being global in this program. You want a global program, you start declaring it even if your knees shake, okay? Uh, next one is, guys, visualization. If you cannot visualize five months from now what your project or your business or your program looks like, good luck, because it is the blueprint to your future. It's what gives you your next actions. And so you've got to be able to see the bigger picture two years from now, five years from now. What's it look like? Visualization is powerful. Next one is accountability slash imperfect action. Guys, accountability is you being your word to yourself and to others. You being your word to yourself and to others. When you say, I'm doing this, you go do it. And then you speak it and tell people and then they go, hey, how did that go for you? How are you doing that? Did you take that on? So there's an accountability to your actions not just that they're in your head going, oh, I might do that, okay? And then slash imperfect action. Guys, I found out it's one of the things that really changed my life because I used to be somebody that it had to be perfect or I wouldn't do it. And things would come across my desk and I go, oh no, we're not putting that out there. And things didn't get done because I kept saying, no, it's not perfect enough. Guys, there is no such thing as perfection. What there is, is imperfect action. You take an action and you start perfecting it along the way. Because until you take the action, you can't even see how to tweak it to get it better and better. So imperfect action changed my life. And that's why I added it into my course so it can change yours. Okay? Don't wait for perfect. It'll never happen. And then the next one is creativity. Guys, you, creativity is tapping into your greatness. Listen, one of the things I say in here every week, 
and a lot of you here know it. What is the richest place on this planet? What is the richest place on this planet? I know a few of you know, <sighs> guys, the cemetery. Do you know why? Because a lot of our ideas died with them. A lot of great ideas died with them because they never took the actions to make them happen. Don't let your good ideas die with you. Make them happen and make them happen now. We only have now, guys. We aren't guaranteed tomorrow. We have now. Get out there and take the actions you need to take to make things happen. And then community and guys community is the glue that holds all of this together you want community in your life jackie knows what community is all about edmund knows what community is all about sarah knows what community is all about guys community is the glue it is what holds all of these six pillars together and brings us to this, to this community right here. This is community and it's not like any other community you'll ever experience. And Jackie, I love your community, but I am telling you now, I have an amazing community here and it's just gotten more amazing because Jackie's come on board. <laughs> so, um, but I am telling you now, this community is like no other community. You guys get things done. You guys make things happen. You guys are difference makers. And I love every one of your hearts. Love every one of your hearts. So you are special. And Mike asked me uh, about four or five months ago, Carol, how do you get so many golden hearts coming to this program? And I said, Mike, <laughs> I asked <laughs> God, send me golden hearts. Send me the people that aren't just concerned about themselves, but want to make a difference for others. And that's what I get in this program. And everyone's like, wow, all these people that have organizations and doing all these big things. How is that happening? Yeah, I ask. If you don't ask, you don't get, guys. So ask. Anyway, that is our seven pillars. And and by the 10 weeks of you looking in your life at how these pillars work in your life or don't work in your life, like they're not in your life, and you get to look and see what your life looks like with them and without them, makes a difference. So please, if you want to be a part of this community and you want to move forward with what you are up to, taking your goals and dreams to a higher, higher level with so many people rallying behind you, go and click on the link and register today. Hi, everybody. Welcome to Let's Thrive Together Mindset. It's the biggest deal. And this is my podcast. And guys, I have the um, pleasure and honor of having a special guest on today. She's very special to me because of who she is for women on the planet. And um, I'm so, so excited to invite her on. Um, please, uh, Dr. Kara, please come and introduce yourself and just say a little bit about yourself. And then uh, we're going to talk about mindset today. I can't wait. Thank you so much for having me on today. It is truly an honor to have this conversation with you. Thank you. Absolutely. So I'm Dr. Kara. I reside in Austin, Texas. I'm a relationship marketer turned naturopathic doctor. Women hire me to shed stubborn belly fat, stabilize their moods, and finally get a good night's sleep because most of us are exhausted from waking up in a pool of sweat, gaining weight, although we've done nothing different and walking into a room and not remembering why. So I help them feel like themselves again, energized, confident, and ready to tackle life. Bottom line, I help women reclaim their well-being and thrive through their perimenopausal and menopausal journey guaranteed. Ooh, I love that. Okay, and guess what, guys? We will make sure that her contact information, her social media links, and all of that is in the description. Uh, at the end. Okay. So you can reach out to her. Please reach out to her. Okay. 
All right. So we're going to talk about mindset today, Dr. Kara, and we're going to do an exercise. I'm going to do a really short, quick exercise with you to get you to see some things. Okay. So I'm going to say a word and you're going to tell me what you believe about it in a negative or a limited, what we call a limited mindset. Okay. It's just kind of automatic. Okay. You don't have to really think about it. All right. So the first word we're going to look at is light, light. What's a limited or negative side to light for you? Dark. Dark. Absolutely. Beautiful. Okay. All right. And I asked you before we started what your favorite color was. (laughs) I now want to ask you, your favorite color um, is purple. And Mm -hmm. tell me, what's a limited or negative side about purple for you? Mm. That there's different shades of purple. When I think of light purple, I feel of, of a dynamic light energy but then when i think of a dark deep purple i i feel like i'm being dragged into a hole into the earth oh okay got it okay so you do have a limited side to purple for yourself okay Mm -hmm. and that's your favorite color all right next one exercise exercise what's a limited or negative side to exercise Well, personally, I hate when my muscles hurt. (laughs) Me too. (laughs) Okay, I got that one. Um, Yeah, pain comes with it. All right. Okay. And our next last one, leadership. What do you think about on a negative or limited side to leadership? That leadership can even be done for good or evil. Oof, you said a mouthful there, didn't you? Yeah. Okay, awesome. Now, now we I do this exercise in my YEA program so that people can see there's no, that's just automatic. Those are automatic thoughts. Those are automatic uh, positions that you have about that. You didn't have to create anything around it. it took no effort on your part to, to see it. Okay. Mm-hmm. And I want people seeing that we have a limited or negative self-talk about anything and everything, even your favorite color. Okay. All right. So I have a question for you. Do you believe that mindset is a big deal? And tell us why. Yes. Wholeheartedly. Yes. And I did not realize that to the, till I opened up my own business. And I found myself getting trapped in the mindset of negativity when things didn't work out the way that I had structured them in the outline and ready to go. Oh, so understand that one. Uh, Great. Okay. So do you believe it impacts every area of your life? And do you have an example? Absolutely. It impacts every area of your life. Um, There's a certain frequency to different words and different mindsets. And when we stick down in that lower mindset, our frequency of our body emanates to other people negatively. And those are the people that we encounter. So that's kind of my example is that when I did kind of fall, fall down the rabbit hole in my business with my mindset, because negative Thoughts are so easily produced. You really got to work at having those positive ones and reframing. Um, I found myself attracting the clients that were the ones that I didn't want, that were the most challenging. Ooh, wow. Wow. Yeah, absolutely. Boy, you start going down that limited mindset or that negative mindset and you start pulling that energy toward you, you don't know what kind of customers or clients are going to come your way. I I got that. Totally got it. Thank you for that example. Um, Because a lot of people are probably experiencing that. Mm -hmm. All right. So I have another exercise for you. Okay. Now this one is a fun one. Uh, Everyone that I do this with, and I do it one-on-one with my students in my programs, okay, they love it because they've not ever looked at it this way before. So this is Mm -hmm. a new experience for you, okay? All right, so here we are. I asked you before we started what you'd like to work on, and you said focus. 
So mm -hmm. we're going to work on focus. So I want to ask you, kind of quiet your mind, because we've kind of been all over the place. Quiet your mind for a second. And this is kind of like a movie. We're looking into your life. You're going to tell us, what does your life look like when you do not focus, when you do not have focus? Give us a little bit of an, a view of what your life looks like when you don't focus. That's a really great question, Carol. When I don't focus, I notice that I lose time. Ooh. I lose track of the priorities and then I start doing the things that I want to do, not necessarily the things that I should be doing. Ooh, lose time. What else happens? What what shows up uh, feeling wise when you're not focused? What shows up? Oh, I would say that's when the negative mindset really comes to play. Mm -hmm. Like the emotions of like self-pity, self-destruction, anger, resentment, oh, yeah. like they all start bubbling up at different like bubble size and mm -hmm. bubble strengths. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, I got it. Totally got it. Is that a thriving life? Absolutely not. It is not, is it? No. Okay. Now I do know you focus because you're into, you're up to some big things. You have to focus. So now go back. We're mm -hmm. looking in your life again, some movie. Give us some details. What does your life look like, Dr. Carol, when you do bring focus into it? When you use, when focus uses you, when it, when your life oozes focus, what's it look like? I'm overwhelmed by gratitude. Oh, gratitude. Overwhelmed by it. I love yeah. that. What else? What else shows up for you? Um, consistent consistency. consistency. Definitely. Um, I start bringing in the ladies into my program that I re that I want to work with, that want to work with me. We're, we're, uh, vibrating at the same frequency. Oh, which is vibrating at the same frequency. I love that. I love that. Okay. Is that a life where you're thriving? Absolutely. That is, isn't it? Okay. So Dr. Kara, we have looked at your life, no focus. We have looked at your life with focus. And what do you now see possible inside of focus for you that you didn't see before? What do you see? That I could accomplish a lot more in my day. That I would attract the individuals into my life that I want in my life, that would be a supportive, caring community for me oh, yeah. and for each other, because I'm trying to create a women's community of support because we lack that outside support. So if I have focus, I'm bringing all of them together with love and gratitude. Ooh, I love that life. Yes. <laughs> and I want, I want that life for you because I know the difference you make for women. So we need hearts for that one. We need, oh, hearts. we need hearts for that one. I agree with you. Okay. So after that exercise, what are you seeing for yourself? That I have to, I need to take some time to identify the mindset that I'm currently in, um, cr set intentions in the morning. That is one thing that has been downloaded to me most recently. And if I set those intentions in the morning, I thrive through the day. I have more focus. I have more clarity, more creativity. Mm. So. One more thing that I'm going to I'm going to share with you, I do a gratitude journal at night. So whatever I was grateful for during the day, I write three things because it has me look for those things all day long. So I can write in my gratitude journal at night. I want to share that with you because it really has changed my life. Uh, it, when you're focusing on gratitude and you said gratitude, uh, you your life just looks different. <laughs> completely different, completely yeah. different. And actually I do a shower practice where I not only do three things that I'm grateful for, I find one thing that I'm uh, very proud of achieving. Oh, beautiful. Your accomplishments mm -hmm. is, oh, absolutely huge. huge, huge. Oh, I love that. Thank you for sharing that. Yes. Okay. So we have one more exercise. Okay. okay. And this is where you get to create. And we're going to 
Dr. Kara, we're going to create some magic today for you, okay? You're going to create it. And I'm going to watch your eyes light up and your body, uh, like, be excited. Um, and that's what I love about recording these, because I get to watch people <laughs> come alive with what they create, okay? All right. So how do we overcome our limited mindsets about focus? We distinguish the limited. We have to see it. We have to distinguish it. We have to actually hear it. And then we're going to disrupt it. And you're going to disrupt it with something. You're going to you're going to create a disruptor that lights you up and kicks you right back into action because we want you in action in your life, okay? We want oh, I love it. many women to make a difference in their lives, okay? So when you go to focus, so let's quiet our minds for a second. When you go to focus and you got that limited mindset that's screaming at you, talking to you, telling you something, what are you saying to yourself that stops you? Mind says, Carol, what are you thinking? You can't focus. That's your weakness. You never get focused. You've got so many things going on in your life. Are you kidding somebody or yourself? What do you say to yourself that stops you dead? You know, mostly I don't deserve to be, to have such leadership and, and vulnerability with these incredible women I work with. Ooh, I don't deserve it. I don't yeah. deserve it. Oh, that's a big one. What else do you hear yourself say besides I don't deserve? What else? Mm -hmm. What do you hear? Uh, that I would was never meant to be an entrepreneur in the first place. Oh, you were never meant to be an entrepreneur. So you suck at it. You're not good at it. Okay, yeah. got it. Oh, that's a big conversation. And Dr. Kara, if you listen to that more than five minutes, you give that more than five minutes, what happens? I gave my power away. You just gave your power away to something that is so about stealing your goals and your dreams and not having you in action about anything. Yeah. I Got completely it. agree, Carol. Yeah, wow. that was well said. So, Dr. Kara, we're going to create some magic. Ooh. So, I want you to tell me now. Mine is I created, focus is my superpower. And Ooh. it lights me up and kicks me back into action, okay? So what is it for you? What's focus for you, Dr. Kara? What does it do for you? It, and it's got to be something so powerful. It's got to be such an empowering statement that you can't hear that other stuff in the background. It just goes to the background. What is it that you're going to give power to? What is it? I love the focus is my superpower. I know. I and it's just, I mean, that is just so encompassing. And when I feel like I'm actually like having a little bit of a warm flush throughout my body right now when I say that, it's my superpower. It's where I deserve and we're meant to be. It's, oh. It's what I deserve and where I'm I'm meant to be. I'm, I'm just letting things download. It's where I deserve, focus is has me deserve and where I'm meant to be. Mm -hmm. Oh yeah. Does that light you up? It yeah. does. It does. Yeah. I can't wait to write this down so that oh, I no, can start you don't have to worry about it. I'm going to create you a Canva disruptor that will be right on your phone. And it's going to say, Dr. Kara focus is say it again. How do you, how'd you say it? Cause I want to make sure I get it right. Focus, focus is my superpower. My, my superpower. It it puts me where I was meant to be. And? And, and was it I deserve it? I deserve uh, yeah, it? deserve. Deserve. Where I, need I that deserve to be there. where I deserve to be. And what was the other? I deserve to be. It's where I, was, I deserve it was meant to be. Deserve it and meant to be. That's it. Yeah. That's it. Focus is my superpower. It's mm -hmm. where I deserve it and meant to be. Oh, Oh, yes. And I saw your body. <laughs> I saw the energy. Oh, I saw it when you, oh, yeah. So is that exciting or what? It is. You Focus just, is my superpower. Yeah. I deserve it. And it's where it's I was meant, meant to, to be. be. 
Yeah, I had to jot that puppy down because I am I'm all about intentions and just raising my vibration before I get into those loopholes of the negative mm-hmm. mindset. Yeah. So this is going to be added to my manifestation. It's beautiful. Right. It's absolutely beautiful. And I'm going to make you an amazing Canva image around it with your words that says, Dr. Kara, <laughs> <laughs> it's talking right to you yeah. and you'll have it on your phone. So anytime you're feeling not focused, you just pull that baby up and you give it power. You give yourself power. Okay. I oh cannot my god wait it will probably be a computer uh what do you a screensaver there yes. for a little <laughs> while until i truly wholeheartedly believe it yes mm-hmm. oh this has been so amazing so i want to share with you okay so you want to remember your mindset is your beliefs about it. It's your thoughts and your position about something, okay? The word you're looking at, whatever it is in your life. It's your shoulds and should nots about that area of life. And keep looking for the beliefs that limit your actions. Keep looking. Use this tool to keep looking in your life to see where you're not in action. What When you're committed to something, break that up and create something like that on the spot. Now that you've discovered the beliefs that hold you back, you, Dr. Kara, can now create inspiring and empowering beliefs that get you in action. You get to choose what will move you forward. You get to choose. And a mindset's a choice. It's a choice. Now you really see you've got a choice here. The power is in you distinguishing it for yourself. You can keep that limited one. (laughs) It's there. It will always be there. (laughs) Or you can create one that moves you into action. Be an action taker in your life, Dr. Kara, so more and more women can benefit from what you can offer. And only you, only you can create a mindset that lights you up and kicks you back into action. That's your magic. I just gave you some magic. Okay. Okay. So I feel like you just sprinkled some fairy dust on me, Carol. Yeah, like that you. was so powerful. Thank you for bringing me through those exercises. Oh, I'm so glad that we got to do this. I'm really, really glad we got to do this. So after that exercise, what are you seeing for yourself that you're going to take away from this experience? What are you seeing? How easy it is when you're paying attention to your thoughts and your beliefs to flip it entirely around from a negative mindset to a positive mindset. I mean, in seconds. Oh, yes. That is my Mm -hmm. biggest takeaway. Beautiful. So, so beautiful. Because it is like that, that you can create something else now. But you have to focus. You have to actually focus on the area. So you got to look and see what areas are not working as good as you want them or where you're not thriving. Okay. Mm -hmm. And, and take a look at them and then start creating something that's way more powerful that gives you that power back. Okay. Wonderful. Um, This has been an amazing experience with you and I knew it would be because you're a creator. <clears throat> and I knew we'd have fun with this. So Dr. Kara, um, thank you for being my guest today. I want to thank everybody for joining us for another episode of Let's Thrive Together. And guys, mindset, it's the biggest deal in your life. It really is. Um, have a great and thriving week. Bye, everyone. Bye. There's no need to complicate things